Hello, YouTubers. I'm Bunker Gamer82, and today I'm going to be playing Double Dragon 4 on my uh, PS4 Pro. Now, this game is what's known as tits. Uh, these are actually golden tits. Uh, this is fucking awesome. I was so excited when this came out. I fucking love Double Dragon. I love everything about Double Dragon. Uh, it was the beat em up that made beat em ups popular. And for them to go ahead and make this, I mean, like, holy fucking shit. Now, I have not played this in a while. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Guaranteed. Uh, now, the graphics are based off of the NES game, not the arcade. Which is cool as fuck. I mean, this is amazing looking. This is the shit that I love. This is when you take old and new and combine it. And then you get something absolutely fucking amazing. Got this game a couple years back. I, I played it on and off. Like, it, it is fucking cool. I have not beaten it. Uh, I really need to work on it more. Because this is such an awesome game. You know, great visuals, oh, fantastic controls, awesome music. This is what it. This is what it's all about for me. Something about the retro style just just uh, tickles my fucking fancy. I also own this game on the uh, Nintendo Switch, just so I could play it on the go. Not that I fucking go anywhere, you know. I, I go to the, I go to the couch, and I, and I play my Nintendo Switch while I'm watching a movie or something, you know. <laughs> we got the uh, boss from the second game here, Mister Mister Metal Mask Man. headbutt his ass. Or his stomach, should I say. <laughs> mm, that music. The music, the sound effects. I don't think I could love this game more than I do already. Like, if this game was a woman, I, I would want to date her. Because she'd be fucking awesome. And pretty hot.
Cocksucker's going to stand there. All right. I don't think there's a run. It's a bobo! Now, personally, I much, much, much prefer the look of the NES Abobo compared to the arcade version. It's another one of those weird games where uh, the NES version was actually a little bit better, probably. Like, I, I will always have a deep love for the arcade version, but it's laggy. Uh... You know, the the visuals are still beautiful to me, but uh, I think I like the visuals of the NES a little more so. Now, when I was a kid, it was the opposite. You know, I liked the arcade version more. The arcade version looked fucking amazing, and I thought the NES version was a piss-poor port to it. You know, but I was a stupid kid. I mean, like, I, I had no idea. NES graphics have aged very well. Like, 8-bit and 16-bit graphics have aged absolutely wonderfully. Whereas, uh, you know, N64 graphics have not. Now, I still like them, you know, but that's, that's one system that just doesn't look very good. It looked great for the time, like it was super high-tech for the time. But you know, modern day, uh, first off, you gotta play that shit on a retro TV, otherwise it looks weird as shit. And you know, like they, uh, they redid Mario 64 a bit, you know, updated the graphics, and it looks fantastic. I have that on the Switch, I did a video on it. It looks fucking beautiful. But you play that same game on N64 and it didn't, does not look that good. You know, uh, Sega Saturn and PlayStation will always look good to me, but I know a lot of people complain about those graphics too. Which they, they have definitely not aged as well as the 8 or 16 bit. The 32 bits did not, uh,. Well, they looked great for the time, but aged poorly. Now, you, you know, you get ROMs and you get the HD versions of them, and they, they start to look pretty fucking good again. Bobo's kicking my ass. Now, I made a... Uh, I recently made a video about the uh, Double Dragon arcade game. And I mentioned uh, a Bobo's Big Adventure. Now, if you haven't played that, I would definitely check that out. It's got that version of a Bobo in it. Uh, it's a free-to-play game online. You know, you, you download it for free. It's fucking awesome. A Bobo's Big Adventure was the shit. Really fucking cool.
There's just something about these hand-drawn pixels, man. Fucking gorgeous. Mmm! Take my bat, you son of a bitch. This is my fucking bat. I liked uh, Double Dragon uh, Neon. That was a pretty cool game. Modern graphics, but still fun as shit. You know, like, it, it looked good, it played good. That was a generally good game. Now, the sequel that came out after that that I owned for uh, Xbox 360, that sucked a whole lot of, uh... a whole lot of, uh... uh... fart dicks. I, I don't even know the word. It, it, it was terrible. Sucked a bag of balls. Probably the worst double dragon I've ever played, personally. You know, and I'm, I'm including Double Dragon 3 in that, the Rosetta Stone, which was god awful. The Rosetta Stone killed the franchise for a while there. Luckily, it came back. And the end result is this beautiful masterpiece of a game right here. You know, thank God it made a comeback. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing this right now. I'm really hopeful for a Double Dragon 5 done in this nature. Because that would be absolutely awesome. I don't know if it'll ever happen. You know, I'm not counting on it or nothing, but it'd be pretty freaking cool if it did. I am getting my ass royally kicked. This game gets pretty challenging. Why the hell does that lady always stand outside of that building? You know, your girlfriend in this game is a moron. I remember correctly, I believe they kill her in this game. I mean, what does she do? Does she just hang out in front of the fucking building where they live all day? Hoping to be kidnapped by, uh, thugs? I mean, it's obvious they live in a bad part of the, uh, neighborhood. Messed up. Got double a bobo action here. If 
if I had a son, I'd want to name him a Bobo. Cause you know, if you're gonna, if you name your kid a Bobo, he's gonna be a fucking badass. Plain and simple. Just like if you name your kid Jeeves, he's gonna be a butler. Like that, that's, you've picked that child's life. Now there's special moves and shit in this game like that. There's a ton of moves. I, I don't know shit. Like I was picking up on it a little bit a while back. Too many fucking games, too little time. There's never enough time for anything. That grenade has way too much of a delay on it. Like, that is ridiculous. Son of a bitch. Oh, there you go. Maybe you're supposed to hit him with it. Listen to that fucking music, man. Damn. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh my god. to the lava with you, you assholes. It's Green Abobo! First appeared in uh, the original NES version of Double Dragon. That didn't go good. Not at all. Fucking elbows me in the face. Sometimes I don't get it. Some more platform in here. Oh, 
Well, shit. And that's the show. I'm out of continues. Awesome fucking game. I I can't recommend this one enough. If you like beat-em-ups, if you like Double Dragon, if you like good games, I would definitely, definitely purchase this one and play it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and you have yourselves a great day.